Just as we've built filter expression buttons for DNS errors, HTTP redirections, and HTTP errors, we're going to do the same thing to look for SMB errors. I've opened up the trace file called tr-smbjoindomain.pcapng. And the first thing we need to find out is, where's that response code field located and what would make a response an error? So scrolling down in this trace file, I can see packet number 14 is an SMB negotiate protocol request, and packet number 15 is an SMB negotiate pro protocol response. So that's a response packet number 15, and that's the one I'm interested in looking further into. So in the packet details pane, I will start expanding out the SMB header portion. We can either do this by right mouse clicking and choosing to expand subtrees, or simply manually expanding the sections as we go through it. The NT status line is the response code field. So we can see down on the status bar that the syntax for this is smb.nt underscore status. Just so you know, the syntax for SMB2 traffic would be smb2.nt underscore status. We want to build a button that will show us anytime we have SMB or SMB2 errors. So we'll have to take that into account and add on to our filter as we create this. Anytime the value in this field is something other than a zero, it's an error. Just as we saw in DNS, looking for errors. If you right mouse click on this field and say prepare a filter not selected, Wireshark will put in a syntax that will not work for you. It will show you all of the packets that do not have an NT status field at all, or do not have an NT status field that contains zero. If I apply this, you'll see I have all this Kerberos stuff showing up in here and SMB requests and DNS. That's not going to work. And the reason is that we need to take the exclamation point and move it over here in front of the equal sign. Now this would make perfect sense. This will work for us. The packet not only has to have an N, uh, SMB NT status field, but the value of the field must not be zero. So I'll apply this. And sure enough, those are two SMB error responses. Status more processing required and status log on failure. So this does work. But unfortunately, it gives us that yellow background, which is a warning. We can see the tooltip comes up and tells us, you know, we might not get what we were expecting to get. So if that bothers you, having that yellow coloring, you could always say, smb.nt status greater than zero. And we can apply that. And it will provide us with the same results, but we won't have that yellow background that bothers many people. We need to add on to this before we save it as a filter expression button, because we're not only interested in SMB error responses, but we're also interested in SMB2 error responses. So I've copied, and I'm going to paste that filter in again. I'm looking for SMB NT status greater than zero, or I can type in the word or, or I can put in pipe pipe. I'm going to paste it again. But I'm going to change the second iteration to be SMB2.NT underscore status. This filter will look for SMB or SMB2 error responses now. And I'll click Save. And I will name this button SMB slash 2. So I know that my filter does also look for SMB2. ERRS. And then I'll click OK. So now if someone hands me a trace file and I have SMB traffic in it, I can simply click that button to find out if I have any errors.